Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Industry Talks. My name is Juliette Maroney and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Southeast Holdings. Today I'm with Michael Bates, who is an Account Manager at Southeast Industrial Equipment here in our Charlotte area. He's actually the host of Industry Talks, so today we want to take some time to give you insight on what we're going to be discovering in this podcast and what knowledge we can bring to you out in your field. Michael, without further ado, tell us a little bit about yourself and your sales experience and how you got to where you are now. Yep. Okay. So I'm Michael, uh, Michael Bates. I was started with Southeast in 2017, uh, hired me out of college. I was an inside sales coordinator, which basically means that I just made the quotes for the outside sales guys. They would send me products. I would type up all the specs and send it back. Um, I then was able to start calling on customers and selling small transactional items like floor tape and things like, you know, things that are quick purchases, quick shipping. Then they started letting me do some forklift stuff, some equipment stuff over the phone that transitioned into an aftermarket position on an outside sales level. And then last year, I got moved to an account manager position. So I've been, in, you know, capital sales, new equipment. Um, so I've been doing it for a while. I've been through a couple different positions. Um, you want me to just kind of go into why the podcast came to fruition? I'm sure. Before that, let's just talk about some of the main things that you've learned throughout your selling and your development from being a sales coordinator now to being a, our capital equipment account manager guy. Yeah. Um, really, I mean, I guess a lot of it, what I've, I've learned is, um, industry knowledge is extremely important. Knowing your industry, knowing what you're selling equipment. Um, knowing your customers and then knowing their industries. Um, if you know their industries and know what problems they have or are going to have, um, you can then easily find solutions and provide solutions for them, kind of cater to everybody's own you know niche. So you might have somebody who does something completely different than the other person. They have two different problems. If you educate yourself on both of those people's industries, you can then easily, like I said, give them solutions um and then i guess the selling in general if you heard what i would have sound like on the phone in 2018 versus now i think it would have been i probably would be cringing at what i would what i looked like um because it it it's ner it's it's nerve-wracking i guess calling somebody at first in sales because you don't know how they're going to react um so i think i've just i've i've kind of learned how to i don't know the word approach and handle myself in those situations so you found your own strengths and how to capitalize yeah, on those to sure. work with different types of people different types of accounts exactly. to, across different industries things yes. like that so is that what you've learned the most throughout yeah, your time yeah i think that and then just like i said how to best spend my time you know what to educate myself on um like I said, industry, industry, industry stuff. And then also, like I was saying, the type, I don't know if you say type of conversation, but how to, I guess, talk and, you know, how, how to cold call without sounding like you're nervous and you're shaky and not having to. With that confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. um, I know that today we are deep diving into what industry talks means to you, what it can bring to our you know, listeners and viewers, and also just what we're going to be covering. So I think we've learned enough about your sales and we're yeah. going to learn even more about you throughout this series. Yeah. Um, but tell us how you came up with the idea of industry talks <laughs> and particularly the name. Okay. Um, so the idea, uh, this is going to sound super cheesy, but this is not a lie. This is legitly how it happened. I dreamt this. I was sleeping and I had a dream that I was a host of a podcast that talked about our world. Mm -hmm. um, and then I woke up, I called you, told you about my idea. Um, and I looked, we, we, we came in here, we sat down, we went through podcasts, we looked through if there's anything out there. And there were, but they weren't what I had in mind. Yeah, that's the main thing that, and one of the reasons that I bought in so much to the podcast was because we looked and we found, you know, whether it be monotoned or just yeah, fact, just like, like fact after fact, that's not really yeah. providing entertainment and information, especially for a younger yeah. generation um, in in our world. 
sometimes that is hard to find. And even in marketing itself across the board, just general marketing podcast, I kind of struggle to find something that provides entertainment and information. So that's really where we're trying to hone in and get this podcast too. Yeah. So I like listen to podcasts a lot. Um, I listen, I have my informational podcast and I have my entertainment podcast. My entertainment podcast give me no knowledge. It's just entertainment. And then my informational ones give me information. And being a young person in this so I guess we can go into why the industry talks. So, so this is not specified to forklifts. This is not specified to like just what we do. This is specified to the industrial industry. And we have a lot of guests and like we, uh, we have a whole list of things and it goes from anything from, I guess I don't want to spoil too much, but it has anything. No, give them some it, insight. Let them know what to look forward anything to. Anything from commercial real estate to uh, technology to different types of purchasing from different types of customers to, I mean, it's all sorts of stuff that has to do with the industrial world. And that was my idea as being a young professional, say you or myself or anybody coming out of college or someone who's in their early twenties, mid twenties, late twenties that are getting into this world, really any age, even if you're just new to this industry, you can listen to something. And while you have a 30 minute commute to work, you can listen to something and it's an, it's an educational 30 minutes about a certain niche of the industrial world is what my idea was. And as a company, we aren't just forklifts also. No. So bringing in commercial real estate or whether it be bringing in an expert about just selling strategies as a whole, because we cover so much outside of just forklifts, but everything in the industry yes. um, and in the industrial industrial world. Yeah. Um, so we're really bringing in different experts on each of those topics and mm-hmm. if there's something that you guys want to hear or learn more about we're open to them um, we do sure. have our list um, that we came up with i feel like pretty soon after you called me about your dream and having this name for it um, yeah. so we've been working on it honestly for a while and this isn't our first podcast that we're recording but no, it, it's not it's going to be the first podcast release because you guys need insight of what we're going to be providing you guys rather than just jumping right in with whatever our first topic. Yeah, may I think be. this is a good idea to kind of give a, you know, this is kind of what to expect um, because it is broad, but then again, it's also not broad. It's like, it's kind of both. It's like you, the industrial industry in general is broad. You have, like we were saying, real estate to racking companies, to forklift companies, to, you know, I don't know, you could, you know, technology again, we were talking to, we have one episode that's really based on the technology side of things, which was super cool to talk to, but, so, again, this is not specified for one niche of the industrial industry, this is for anybody that's, you know, customers, people who would use our services, people who also want to sell things that we, you know. uh, We're just learning more about what it's like to be a young professional, whether it be in sales or getting into an industry that you aren't super familiar with, because I don't know, Michael, if you were this way, but whenever I started here, I really didn't know much about forklifts. I didn't realize how many people actually use forklifts. Like it is crazy. Just almost every company, everything that we use, um, these wires, these microphones, everything's been touched by a forklift. Everything's been moved. I tell people that all the time. Um, not a million years. If you had asked me, even at like probably 19, what are you going to be doing? I would have never said selling industrial equipment because it was just one of those things. What that, would you have said? I don't know. I forgot what point in my life that was. 19? I think I was, what was that, sophomore in college? Freshman in college? Yeah, sophomore, freshman, maybe freshman in between. Freshman I was trying to be a teacher. And then I switched from that. What did I do next? Oh, at one point I was going to be a fireman. Went to fireman school. So I don't know what I was going to do. Happened to go through a recruiting service, interviewed with our VP and the, my old boss at the time, and ended up, yeah, I told the recruiter lady I wanted to be in sales. She had a, this company that she just said sells equipment. I had no idea what that meant. And that was 2017, and now it's 2023, and here I am. But I was the same way. I knew what a forklift was, but I had no idea how intense, or not intense, but how often... I guess not. that's not the right word either. I guess how many forklifts and how many different types of companies use them 
And then I think it was our VP, maybe even our CEO told me, you know, if you look at anything, anywhere, no matter you're at a restaurant, wherever you are, if 90, probably, I'd say 98% of the time, anything you look at was touched by a forklift at one time. For sure. Picture frame. Like it, you can really look at anything. And, and that's just something crazy that I still today am kind of shocked about. Yeah. And I've been here s- for two years now, I think. Yeah. And still, whenever I'm driving down the road and I see whether it be a building of one of our current customers or just, you know, a building that I don't know what they do. I'm like, well, I bet they use forklifts in yeah. there. It's a pretty safe bet. Um, but even outside of forklifts, just across the board, industrial you know, warehousing, everything like that is what we're going to talk about, what we're going to cover. And it's a large scope of things. And I would say as a company, we cover a very broad range of different services, equipment, everything like that. I mean, we could do anything from laying out your warehouse spacing to your racking to automotive, automotive, AGVs, the automated guided stuff to robots, to forklifts, to conveyor systems. I mean, really anything to safety lights. I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that we do. Um, and the other thing that I hope this podcast does is if people who do use our services, like one of the episodes we're talking about, the different purchasing strategies, I'd like this to be educational for them. Um, things that people might not think about that they might hear and say, hey, that's a good idea. I think that that's, you know, that's something that we might want to look into. That's a, so I think this will be very informational and very beneficial for lots of different types of people yeah and from a marketing perspective as well uh it's informational to our customers and to whoever you know actually uses us for our service to let them know whether they just buy forklifts from us that we do automation we can help you optimize your warehouse and the way that it runs and make it more efficient for you we can yeah. provide you all that equipment the big heavy stuff I yeah mean, we do so much stuff it's insane but on the other end of that too like people like you and I that are entering into the workforce into maybe an industry that they don't know this offers them you know some sort of like a quick little snippet mm-hmm. of information something yeah. that you can listen to again listen to on your way home or way into work that you can just like it might be 30 minutes and it might be something small but you might not know on when you leave your house for work about I don't know I'm trying to think of it. Commercial real estate and what the economic state of commercial real estate is. And then by the time you get to work, you could then have a conversation with somebody about what's going on in the commercial real estate world. Yeah. Like, a lot of our podcast topics that we are covering, and I mean, they're not going to be like three hour Joe Rogan podcast no. by any means, but they're going to be enough to I get wish. you educated and start on conversations and learning more about you know the specific topics that we're covering specifically for you know people to just learn and develop their skills and what they do and just offer them another source of information that's Mm -hmm. that's easy to digest as well because I have my educational podcast and I have my you know entertainment ones sometimes they overlap but I personally like Dr. Huberman and his podcast are like two to three hours I don't know what that is it's a podcast on health uh, wellness that space yeah. um but it i mean i have to rewind and listen to it again and again because yeah. it's so scientific and just based something i don't necessarily know and that's not what we want to do here we want to lend a hand to those that are trying to understand and also just learn and develop their skills in their industry whether it be material handling or not, um, lend them a hand to get to yeah. know what they want to do and just I thought I'm going to like dumb it down because I don't think that's the right word. But I think, again, one of kind of what we talked about was something that is a, almost essentially like if you and I were sitting at a brewery having a conversation about industrial stuff. Yeah. That type of conversation. Yeah. Casual. You know, we're not sitting digestible. Up, we're not sitting upright, like being super formal. We're just we're having a conversation about certain things. And the idea that you had was have experts on. So say you're an expert and I wanted to learn about marketing in the industrial world. Me and you would be talking about marketing. Just like casually. we are right now. Yeah, I guess that's what we are doing. <laughs> but casually having a conversation like we are. And so then someone else can listen to it and pick up on things that. So I'm very excited for this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be educational. I think it's going to be entertaining a little bit as much as entertainment we can provide. Um, but y'all are going to get to know Michael a lot more throughout 
throughout this adventure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the next expert, who knows who it's going to be? Who knows what topics we're going to cover? Who knows what it's going to grow and develop to? But I think right now we have about... 20 different topics that we're going to start at yeah about 20 episodes mapped yeah. out at this point mm -hmm. uh, we've recorded like you said we've recorded a lot more than we're releasing but we've recorded one that we know for sure we're releasing mm -hmm. um so they're coming and like she said who knows what well, we, we'll have the maybe we'll have the president on one day yeah the united states of america you never maybe know. so definitely the president of our company <laughs> yeah we could do that we'll start there but then we'll we'll, we'll get up to the yeah the potus but no, I'm excited. I think it's going to be beneficial. I'm excited for everyone to experience it with us. It's like she said, it's a learning experience on our end. We've had some. Oh, my. We've gone through, I think, three different types of microphones, a few yes. different type of. We record recording. something and you yeah. couldn't hear it. We record something and the camera was off the whole time. Yeah, you we really like I never knew what went into figuring out how to it's host no and produce a podcast. And shout out to Jake. Yeah. Shout out to Jake for Jake's being our able producer. To yeah. To figure he, it I out. I don't think he knew to start off and then he taught himself everything and he's yeah. been, he holds it together. Yeah, I think that we all are kind of learning as we go and we hope that you guys are going to join on the experience and we look forward to teaching you a little bit about the industry and what sales and being a young professional in the world is like. That's right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.